Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Zeros9, this is Daily Rambles. We're doing Legends of Tomorrow, uh, Season 3, Episode 6, and it's called Helen Hunt. It's off of 1937 Hollywood, and they had a fake Helen Hunt for the Helena Troy movie. And the real one walks in, and she gets the movie, because she's the most beautiful girl there. And then we go back to the Wave Rider where Nate is trying to find anachronisms and can't really find anything. And Sarah's like, what's that smell? And Nate has B.O. So Sarah's like, you need to go shower. Then Palmer tries to help Firestorm try to separate and it doesn't go well. And you have a Freaky Friday situation where Jax is in Stein the Stein is in Jax. And then Nate found uh, the anachronism in about 1937, so they go to 1937, and they do recon, and Helen um, goes off with uh, K&G movies instead of the um, one she was with before, so that kind of goes off on like Crazy Pants, and the guy, the rival company file, um, rival movie people fired guns at them. Not at the other guy. Not at Legends. <laughs> and then we have Firestorm Tots again. And then they do recon at a party to unveil the new star, which is, of course, Helen of Troy. Then Jax talks to a woman. And it turns out that is Lamar. And then we have Meg going gaga over Helen. And then it turns out Dark is there and wants to talk to Sarah. And basically tells her to, um, well, first the fight breaks out because of all of the men going gaga over Helena, Helen. And so they're all going crazy over her, literally doing fist fights. And basically then we cut to Dark telling Sarah that he wants them out of the, just let this happen and go back to 2017 to your previous loss and just go away. And so they go back to the ship where Sarah fusses the guys out and they decide not to go with Dark's plan and to get Helen. Then we have Firestorm talks again and then we have Sarah talks to Helen and then um, we, they talk to the rival, then the rival companies fight. Then um, they get Helen out of there after she talks to him. She's like, okay, let's just go. Because at first she didn't want to leave just because of all. She didn't want people fighting over her. Then they start to fight over her. So she agrees to leave. And then the ship is messing up. And then you have Lamar. At, um, it's Lamar's fault because she's very talented and also very smart. So the when um, people are not looking at her movies and stuff, they don't read more about her and how smart she is. So they want to be smart. That's kind of what I got took the what I took away from it. Then Helen tells Azari about um, how she doesn't want to go where she wants to go, but you, yet you're sending me back hiking. So I call yourself heroes if you're sending me to a place that I can't stand. That people are fighting over me and people are dying over me. And then uh, we have Jax talks to Lamar. They have Dark uh, tries to capture them, um, but they manage to get away. And then the Legends versus Dark's crew. And basically it's like, um, let's see, I cannot pronounce her name, but it's the granddaughter of Amaya versus her. And then you have, um, then you have... Uh, they have Dart versus Sarah uh, with no magic. And so it was a great swords fight. Like a really good scene. I really love that scene. And then uh, we cut to where Lamar is um, super smart, like I already said earlier, and convinces um, Firestorm to get, uh, connect back together. And it might re um, fix what happened. And then uh, they have Firestorm, not um, Dark, and I think Eleanor. I want to say Eleanor out. It turns out that's his daughter, so fun alert there. And so they leave, and then Sarah is in trouble because all, um, the woman was like sucking the life out of her. So they had a so anyway. Uh, so they put her in a coma on the ship, and then we have a Maya learns about her other granddaughter, and she's not happy about it, kind of. 
Then you have Lamar and San talk, and then Maya's upset, and then Bray talks to her, and then Helen um, is practicing. She's actually really good because um, Maya gave her a, a knife or a dagger, and she's actually really, really good at it. And so Helen is just practicing around, then Zari takes a jump ship and drops her off at the mascara. And that's the end of the episode. So I'm very excited to see what's going to happen with that because now Themyscira is in play. So I kind of like that. Either that they're just winking at the characters, but I hope Helena comes back or appears on, on the other shows. That'd be super cool, I think. So I feel like this was a pretty good episode just because, um, I don't know, Neil... The, play, the guy that plays uh, Dark, he's actually a really good actor, so I'm very excited to see what happens with that and the whole thing with Eleanor, or uh, if that's her name. If I'm sorry, please correct me in the comment section down below. I would appreciate it. Anyway, um, I'm going to say plus, I'm, it was a little bit more serious, and I kind of enjoyed that. Um, and you actually have them doing what they need to do, especially the guys, because they're kind of portrayed as idiots a little bit too much, and I feel like they are they were actually doing pretty good in this episode, I feel like. So, um, that does it for this episode. But it still had the right, uh, for us start, as far as start that, I will say I feel like they had the right mix of uh, funny and serious. I feel it's uh, more uh, well combined in there, integrated well with each other. Anyway, so that's going to do for this video. So if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below what you think, and let me know what you want me to do next, whether it's music, TV shows, or movies. I probably will be doing Justice League on Friday if I can get my stuff together, if everything works out. If it doesn't, um, I'll let y'all know. But I want y'all to have a super duper awesome day. And I'll see y'all next video. Bye.